Question. DS. If x and y are positive, is x over y greater than y over x? Condition 1. x is greater than 2 times y. Condition 2. x is greater than y. Solution. Let us solve this DS question through the variable approach. The fourth fundamental concept in inequality. When a is greater than 0 and we add a to both sides, the direction of the inequality sign will not change. If a is greater than 0, then a plus a is greater than 0 plus a, or 2 times a is greater than a. When a is smaller than 0 and we add a to both sides, the direction of the inequality sign will not change. If a is less than 0, then a plus a is less than 0 plus a, or 2 times a is less than a. The first fundamental concept in inequality. If a is greater than b, which is greater than c, then a is greater than b, and b is greater than c, and a is greater than c. Also, if a is greater than x, and x is greater than b, then a is greater than x, which is greater than b. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We are required to verify whether x over y is greater than y over x when x and y are positive. You can get the answer to this question right away by using the modification, which is the first step of the variable approach. In the question, both x and y are positive numbers, and if we cross multiply both sides of x over y is greater than y over x, we get x squared is greater than y squared by the first property of inequality, which is positive rule in inequality. If we subtract y squared from both sides of this inequality, we get x squared minus y squared is greater than zero. That is, whole of x plus y times x minus y is whole greater than zero. Since x plus y is always positive when x and y are positive. Thus, we need to verify whether x minus y is greater than zero. That is, whether x is greater than y or not. Thus, let us take a look at condition 2. It tells us the answer yes to the question is x greater than y, and the answer is a unique yes. So the condition is sufficient according to CMT1, which states that the answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. Condition 1 tells us that x is greater than 2 times y. Since y is greater than 0, we get x is greater than 2 times y, which is greater than y, by the fourth fundamental concept in inequality, and we get x is greater than y by the first fundamental concept in inequality. The answer is yes, so the condition is sufficient according to CMT1, which states that the answer will be in terms of a unique yes or no. Also, according to tip 1, it is about 95% likely that D would be the answer when the value of condition 1 is equal to the value of condition 2, that is, condition 1 equal to condition 2. Each condition alone is sufficient. Thus, D is the correct answer. Answer D.